Okay, so right now um, I have been instructed by the creative director to rap a little bit. So this is um, Andrea Wong. This is this part's for you. Uh, Who is that? Who is that? I did do me. Um, it's just an excerpt because there's a there's a complexity and color to this. Who's that? Who's that? Is that Mums? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so ready? One, two. We're just gonna do. Um, so, 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 so this is what it feels like to match wits with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's a feeling of freedom, of freedom of seeing the light. It's Ben Franklin with a key and a kite. You see it, right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything we said in total agreement. It's a dream and it's a bit of a... She's trying to climb up the chair and um, that was distracting me. So we're going to stop there because Ben Franklin with a, like a key and a kite. So I was talking to Ben Franklin the statue um, when we were at Wharton for a leadership thing and um, I have a picture of that on Facebook excuse me madam excuse me Derek um, and this uh, yeah so Mimo, Mimo instructed me to rap and so I did and that song uh, <laughs> reminded me of uh, of the time I was uh, talking to Ben Franklin on a bench, and at that time, there were there there were uh, there are two things that came to mind when I remembered Ben Franklin on a, the the statue. The statue, okay, <laughs> um, is is that number one? That was the the trip where I had my second memory of being <laughs> deathly afraid of death because a dear friend colleague of mine had um had gotten to a major major motorcycle accident a harley i think and uh and i uh yeah i just i couldn't function i was crying most of the day um and i some well first the the gardener the the person who is tending the park in in the education center um checked in on me a complete stranger came up to me and gave me a hug and held me while i cried um i i didn't know if she was going to live or not that day and um thank god that you did live because we have stuff to do together my friend um so that's one thing that that brought up and um, the second thing that it brought up was a memory of uh, light. <laughs> uh, hello, a memory of um, the gates. A memory of light. So thank you to Robbie for this, which I have yet to read, um, but I'm coming back to it. So that that event reminded me of as well. Um, this uh, executive, this leadership fellows program thing that we did at Gemi Pass in Switzerland. Shout out to Switzerland. <laughs> we might be coming back soon. Yeah. Um, and we had two mountaineers who, Daddy, husband and wife, <laughs> um, who did leadership training as mountaineers. And we were... Um, it was illuminating, and 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 Roger. Roger loved what he did, and um, it reminded me of the time that I received the news that he died, uh, in an avalanche, um, doing what he loved, and so I aspire to that kind of death, where I'm doing what I love, like hanging out with the creative director and chatting to friends and thinking of audacious art projects to make the world a better place uh, to improve the to, state of the world I will talk to mommy <laughs> you can talk to mommy in a second <laughs> I will um, talk to her um, on the phone hi mommy hi Mimo <laughs> <laughs> she's talking to me on the phone <laughs> yeah that's mommy right there um, you can talk to me forever. Just watch this all the time.
Um, <laughs> but since we don't know when we're gonna die, if we don't do what we love right now, um, if my if I don't do what I love right now, I will. I risk not being able to achieve my dream of dying doing something I love. So uh, that can happen at any moment. Death can and so yeah these are the things this is like the these are the memories that i had and this is a message to sean um about the crystal crystal palace i mean the crystal palace or sorry the memory palace idea that came out of um complexity weekend August 2020 is that I'm going to offer you this, and this is what I understand, and Alex, correct me, please. This is what I understand yoga to be. Hi, Mommy. Well, one aspect Hi, of it. Hi, Mommy. I mean, one aspect of it, and this is in, in my Buddhist meditation practice, One, and just the Tao of nature is that life, the, the life that we're living, the complex adaptive system, the whole thing, the universe, whatever, how, how far we define it, um, <laughs> it is, <laughs> it is a memory palace. <laughs> we just need to pay attention to the signs. And this is why living, like being here now is so important is because we miss it. When we miss the signs, we don't pay attention. So for example, um, Mims, Mims here is um, playing with a penguin and who else have you got there? Penguin and bunny. Bunny. So there's something significant about penguins and bunnies, and it's my job to to find out because everything's connected, right? Everything's connected. So that one simple thing, mm, the rotating one simple thing, our energy gets deployed and transformed in so many different Hi, ways. Hi, Mim. <laughs> That being Hi, here mom. now, meditating, all of Hi, this, these practices, whatever practice Hi, you're doing. Hi, Mims. Hi, Mims. Hi, Mims. Hi, Mims. Shout out to Miss Adele for, <laughs> for giving Mimo a very Filipino, <laughs> Filipino nickname to her nickname, which is Mims. You just take the first syllable and you make it plural, basically. Daddy, That's where Jax comes from. <laughs> okay, so. That's it. It's the, we are the world. We are the world. Hey.